Now let's go back in our document and make another change. I'm still in the change document transaction and I can continue. And so far we have maintained the document information record. As I told you, this information record will contain all the information related to a document, like description, the status, who created it, and so on. But now to this information record, we can upload an original file. On my desktop, I have an original file. Let me show it to you. This is going to be the assembly drawing for the pump. This represents the technical drawing for my pump. And uh, I will upload this technical drawing as an original to my document information record. To create an original file in your document information record, you can use this button for create original. In creating an original document, you have to choose the application. And basically there are dozens of applications available to upload documents. And uh, this is because you can have different kind of documents that you want to upload. You can have an AutoCAD document, Adobe Illustrator, video, bitmap files, and so on. In our situation now, because we have a Word file, then I will go down the list and I will select Word for Windows. I can maintain here a description. Let's say it's going to be assemb assembly drawing for pump. And uh, I have to upload my original file. And I will make this upload from my desktop. In your case, it can be anywhere located on your local machine. Files of type. Let's take all the files because my document is docx. And I can open it. And now I can continue. Now we have just created an original file to our document information record. But to see here that the storage category is empty, meaning that the document is still stored on my local machine. And uh, also we have here this unlock status, meaning that now it's not locked for any changes. And I can save my document.